Hey Sagittarius, what's happening? Welcome. This is your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. That would really help us grow the channel. So, Sagittarians, what we will do here, we will just um, divide the reading into areas. So it's a bit easier to understand. So we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, what trauma can go, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then lastly, we will look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius. Before we do all of this, I want you to have a look at the right side of the screen. There is a little thingy bob, which is our Kickstarter campaign that I mentioned because I collaborated with a friend of mine on a beautiful card deck, um, which is actually um, a 38 card um, oracle card deck, if that makes sense. Um, and it is called Fauna, which is Lessons from Spirit Guides, Spirit Animal Guides, that is. And um, so, yeah, the uh, Kickstarter only runs until the end of September. So if you want us, to, uh, if you want to help us turn this into a reality, now is the time to pledge. And it is a really beautiful deck, as you can see for yourself when you go on to the Kickstarter campaign and have a look. So thank you so much for that. And now with no further ado, let's see what we got for Sagittarius for the month of September 2022. Now remember, Sagittarians, that um, September is the ninth month. Nine is the number of completion, which also means that this is going to be the month <coughs> for you to, you know, um, chase your dreams be pushy, be determined to make things happen. In any case, let's have a look at the overall energy. Your overall energy is easy and maybe not. It's fun. Which is about being lighthearted, which is about understanding that the more or the lower your energy is, the less will manifest for you, the, the less you will achieve what you're after. So, I get it. These are hard times. Um, I don't really watch the news, but um, every time I come across any piece of news, um, it tells me that all the prices have gone up and we haven't had it that bad in, 40 de in four decades or something like this. And um, uh, people complain uh, apparently about petrol costs, all that kind of stuff, and I get that. But the point is, <clears throat> you can let it affect you. Or you can just go like, okay, these are shitty times, right? But I live in them. So maybe whatever I can do to get the energy higher, I should be doing, which is exactly what the guides want from you in the month of September. Because obviously this is the overall energy, which means how you carry yourself in September um, is important for how much you achieve in, in September. And therefore, fun is the overall energy. Therefore, the more fun you can have, the more lighthearted you can be, the better things will work for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so now let's have a look at um, the, your emotional core. Um, let's see if there's love coming in or, or anything. And remember, this is a general reading. It may not, rep it may not resonate with all of you. I hope it does, right? Well, this is interesting, very interesting. When it comes to your emotional core, the guides are telling you to step away from too much interference and in their language they call this technology right so the point they're making is um and i'm not an expert i'm not <clears throat> don't know anything about 4g 5g other than what i hear in the news <clears throat> whenever i come across it or whatever comes to my letterbox the point is um we have always been uh, um, uh, affected by by vibration and um and we still are. Point the guides are making is if you could step back from too much technology, maybe that means for you that you're on the phone way too often. Maybe you do it for a living, right? Maybe you actually use the phone for a living and then when you come home or the computer, and then when you come home, you text for hours on end. And if you're not texting, maybe just you just play games. The point they're making is the more you can be in tune with yourself and step away from technology, will allow you to actually feel um, what needs to go, what you're going through. Uh, so no distractions, really, really important, right? So that's quite a, a bit of a, a serious uh, <clears throat> advice for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of September. And I, I feel this 
as something that doesn't just apply to this month. The energy that they've given me is the technology, and it's not uncommon, so I'm not, <laughs> we're not knocking you, um, <clears throat> but technology has really taken over, and, um, and somehow it is just not for you. And that could also mean that if you just, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, have family pruhaha somewhere, somewhere, and everybody, you know, goes out for lunch, and then everybody's on their on their phone, you know, then maybe you shouldn't be there. If people cannot even hold a conversation or are not interested in looking up, then maybe you're better than that, right? So just pay attention to technology because obviously too much of it, especially, and they're not talking to me about health so much. They're basically showing it to me in a in in a, in a in a form that just lets me know that very likely you're just doing too much and it doesn't allow you to pay attention to what is really important. Okay, lastly, let's look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September for the sign of Sagittarius. <clears throat> let's have a look. Right. Yeah, makes sense. You have silence. Enjoy the silence. Point is, you can see where this is going, right? I mean, this is a month, and even though uh, we separate the topics here slightly, nothing thrives in isolation. So the very fact that you have been told to have fun this month, to stay away from too much being on the phone, too much on the computer, too much texting, too much playing games, whatever it is you do with the technology that is available to you, and now you have silence, which means when it comes to opportunities, in order for you to, to attract opportunities and to see where you actually want to go, you need to have less noise, less background noise, less destruction, uh, um, distract, distractions when you're being distracted. That's, I don't mean it's in, in a way of being this. Yeah, can't talk. Anyway, you, you know what I mean. <coughs> no, it's disruptions. Bloody foreigner. Yeah, anyway, you need less of that. <laughs> right? The point is, you, you, you need to make sure that there's not a lot going on, otherwise you're not looking at, at yourself. And this is the time, especially when you have silence here with regards to opportunities. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest is very likely going nowhere because you're maybe not focusing on what it is you really want, if that makes sense, right? And Or maybe, being given that, that we talked about technology, maybe you're researching too much, maybe you're not following your intuition, right? Be this as it may, Really, really important to understand that with regards to the overall energy being fun and then the opportunities being silence, there has to be a balance this month in September for the sign of Sagittarius. There has to be a real balance between all these different things that you are doing with your life. Okay? So, Sagittarians, thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, please have a look at the Kickstarter campaign would be lovely to have these or turn these um, cards into reality so that they can use them in, in the readings in the future and they would then also be available for you to purchase. So please, 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 please help. Thank you so much. See you next month.